Good evening everyone. In this video, we will discuss one of the most important laws of indices that is a power 0 is equal to 1. We all know that a power 0 is equal to 1, but most of us don't know how it is derived. In this lecture, I'll try to help you with the derivation of a power 0. For example, if I take a power 4 by a power 3, I solve this problem by expanding a power 4 and a power 3 as follows. I write a 4 times and in the denominator I write a 3 times. And on cancellation I am left with 1a in the numerator. So I can write this as a power 4 by a power 3 equals a power 1. Now can I put this into another law? Yes, of course. That is, this is similar to a power m by a power n is equal to a power m minus n. So, in this example, in the place of m, I have 4. In the place of n, I have 3. So, on applying this formula to this example, I get a power m by a power n is a power m minus 1. That is, a power 4 by a power 3 is a power 4 minus 3. That is nothing but a power 1. Now what happens if I take the same term in the numerator and the denominator. On applying the same formula of a power m minus n, I get a power 2 minus 2 which is equal to a power 0. Right? That means a power 2 by a power 2 is equal to a power 0. Right? Now if I expand both the numerator and denominator, numerator will be a into a and denominator is a into a and that is nothing but a power 0 and finally on cancellation I get 1 on the LHS that means 1 is equal to a power 0 or a power 0 is equal to 1 so this is the derivation of a power 0 thank you